what are abstractions for some of our non-techie audience? The root of the word abstraction comes from lacking specificity, but that's not quite what's going on here. It's less about lacking specificity as much as adopting a certain way of thinking about things that focuses on how things connect, the interoperability. Sometimes it's good to remove some detail when you're analyzing a lot of information, right? Not everyone needs to know, for example, the inner workings of a machine in order to know how to interact with that machine. And that process of removing some of this inner detail so that you can more completely understand how to work with the system, that's called abstraction. In programming, it's got a slightly more specific meaning. It's one of sort of the pillars of object-oriented programming, and it kind of carries weight as a central foundational pillar in like the dominant paradigm that many people program in. You know, historically, we've sort of thought of abstraction as a an inherent virtue. And I think what we end up seeing is abstraction is an inherent virtue if done right. And to know just the right amount of abstraction, it helps to understand what that interface looks like, how people are going to be interacting with this black box. So if abstraction is designed to simplify that interaction, well, we better know quite well what that interaction entails. And oftentimes in emerging tech spaces, people lead with abstractions without really understanding the usage patterns. And in a way that's taking the user off of center stage and putting the technology on center stage. And that's really not how you build human-centered products. So at the core, it's making things easier for folks. Like that's the merit and kind of the value behind it.